Okay, in this video we're going to talk about regression. Okay, and I'm going to try to hit uh, most of the points uh, having to do with linear regression, correlation, bivariate data. That is stuff in chapters uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well, seven, eight, and nine of the uh, of the textbook. Okay, so let's start off. Got ourselves a scatter plot. Okay, some x y data here. Each of these points. We can label each of these points as here's, uh, we'll call this x1, y1, we'll call this x2, y2, we'll call this x3, y3, okay? So, got a whole bunch of x's and y's here, okay? Now, let's just draw a line that we think summarizes this data pretty well, okay? And I'm going to say this line goes... Ooh, pretend that's straight, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> that's a straight line that cuts through the data, and I can actually already tell that that's a rather poor line. Uh, but I'm going to stick with it anyway, just because that's what I drew. Uh, but, uh, so this line is going to uh, be our estimate of what these data points are, okay? And I'm going to call this Y hat y hat, okay? And so I'm going to say y hat equals b naught plus b1x, okay? And in Algebra 2 and Algebra 1, we used to write y equals mx plus b. Well, we're just changing the names of the uh, parameters here, but it's no big deal. This is still the y-intercept, and this is still the slope, okay? So let's go a little further. And uh, let's say that, uh, let's define what a residual is, okay? So for each of these points here, let's take the point x3, y3. I can draw a vertical line that goes from this point to our line y hat, okay? And I'll do that here too, and I'll do that here too, okay? And oops, that's nothing, okay? So each of these points has a vertical line that goes up or down to my y hat line, okay? And I'll refer to this point right here as x3. It's still the same x coordinate because one's right on top of the other one. And I'll call this y hat 3, okay? Because it's on the line y hat equals b naught plus b1x, okay? This distance here is called the residual. Okay? The residual, and you have to know this, the residual is the actual value of y. i just means whatever number we happen to have. Minus the estimated value of y, or the predicted value of y. Okay? That's what a residual is. Okay? So now, what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I'm going to take all these residuals, now, as you can see, some of the residuals are positive, that is, the points are on top of the line. Some of the residuals are negative, okay, that is, the points are below the line. If I pick the best line possible, those residuals are all going to add up to zero. That is, the positive ones and the negative ones will all just cancel each other out and add up to zero. As it turns out, any line that goes through one particular point, the point x bar, y bar, will cancel out the residuals like that. And let me just explain what I just said a second ago. Okay? If we take all of our x data and then take the average of it, okay, so x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus da, 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 all the way up to x sub n, divide by n, that's going to get us the average of our x's, right? And it'll fall somewhere in the middle, okay? Somewhere up here. And if we take all of our y's and do the exact same thing, it'll fall somewhere in here, okay? Well, this tells you just how bad my uh, line was. <clears throat> the line that I'm looking for, y hat, has to go through this point, the point x bar, y bar. And if it goes through that point, all the residuals are going to cancel out. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, how do I know this for sure? 
then you need to watch another video, and that is the For Geeks Only video about linear regression. Okay? It's very technical, but that's okay. All right. So, uh, so what do we know about this line? Okay? We know that, like I just said, we know that y hat uh, equals b naught plus b one x goes through x bar y bar. That is to say that x bar equals b naught plus b one x, or changing our variables around, it means that b naught equals x, uh, y. Oops, sorry, b one x bar. Sorry, that b naught equals y bar minus b one x bar. So that's our y intercept, y bar minus b one x bar. Uh, we also know that the residuals, residuals, the sum of all the residuals equals zero. And the best line we could come up with, we refer to as the least squared regression line. Okay? So let me get a new board here. All right. And, uh... So our least squared regression line, which is sometimes called the line of best fit, uh, for the least squared regression line, if you take the residuals, so all my y hat, y minus y hat, and you know how some of them are positive and some of them are negative? Let's square them so that all of them are positive. Okay? Add them all up. Okay? Add up all those squared residuals from 1 to n. Okay? Now, think of all the lines in the world that could go through that scatter plot. The one line that minimizes this sum of squared residuals is our least squared regression line. Okay? So, for the least squared regression line, again, what do we know? We know that this sum of residuals is less than for any other line. We know that it goes through the, uh, the point uh, y bar, x bar, telling us that. We also know that the sum of the residuals, yi minus y uh, hat i equals zero. And, uh, well, <clears throat> I guess I could also say that uh, we know a formula for the slope. You can calculate a formula for the slope. Um, it's not necessary that you know the formula for the slope, so I'm not going to include it here. However, you do know have to. In you do know. Ha, sorry, you do have to know how to interpret the slope. Okay, so let's talk about that. When you interpret the slope, this is what you're going to say. You're going to say for every increase of 1 and n and the model this is the model the line predicts predicts an increase well or perhaps a decrease if the slope is negative okay of n and in air. All right. So now let's fill in the ends. For every increase of one, whatever your x units happen to be, maybe they're inches, maybe they're miles, maybe they're pounds. I don't know. Okay. But for every increase of one unit, one x unit, in your explanatory variable. Explanatory variable, remember that's x, the horizontal variable. The model predicts an increase of b1, our slope. Uh, remember, this is the x unit. y units in whatever the 
response variable is. Okay? So if you are asked, explain what this slope means, this sentence will do it. It will explain what the slope means. Okay? Remember what slope means? It means rise over run. It means as x increases by 1, y is going to in increase by whatever the slope is. That's exactly what this sentence says. Okay? Know how to say that.